Welcome back to part two of our Tinkercad Trackside Signal House tutorial. In this section, we're going to be building on the foundation that we created in part one, adding details to this model to bring it to life. If you're new here, you might want to check the previous video or even look in the description for a, a, the link to the playlist and watch the whole playlist in its entirety as it increases in complexity. Next, we'll be doing the small window cutout. And so we need a box here. And let's bring this here and here. And we're going to go, um, this is going to be 12 by 12. So we'll click here and go 12. And here and go 12. All right. And let me make sure and see if it does tell me how high to go up. Nope. All right. <clears throat> So what I need is a duplicate here, and because that's going to spin 90, and that will go up top. Now I need to come here with my 12 by 12. Let's raise it. Use your arrows to bring it out where it's not touching. Uh-oh, undo. Don't do what I just did. Click there. Use your arrows. It makes more sense. And here we go. Now I'm going to get a front view on it. And it looks like I need to poke up a tad. Now I'm going to come in and see where my shadows are. Use my arrows to get them right. Now once I get it centered, I move to this side so I can come out. It's out. Touching. One. Two. Alright. I'm going to leave that there though. And I'm going to click this. And I'm going to duplicate. And now I'm going to use my arrows to bring this other one over. And then we're going to roll in here. Arrows again. And it should be right. Back out. Touching. One. Two. In. All right. Got that one selected, I hold shift, I hold this one, I click this one, I should have three, I click group. And now I've got the window recessions cut out for the frames. Let's bring this guy here. Move him up to a sensible place. That almost looks like I got lucky. Alright, I'm going to use the arrows to back out. Touching, one, two. Hold shift, click there, and we got cutouts for that. All right, let's do the cutouts for the big windows now. Um, wait. We're going to do cutouts for the doors. And um, the big window frame. Large window cutout. Gotcha. 53.5 by 10 by 44. All right, so we're going to bring in a hole. We're going to click here, and we're doing 53.5. Not sure why I did that again, but okay. Uh, if we click here and go 53.5, enter. Now, our height is going to be 10. That makes sense to me. And we're going to raise it to 44. Now, I'm going to use my arrows. I'm going to back out until I'm not touching. I'm touching. One, two. I'm going to move to the right one. Two. All right. Now, I duplicate. I use my arrows to move over. Now I roll this way. And I'm going to scroll in. Should be fine. Touching. One, two. 
All right, I roll back, I hold shift, I click this, I click this. It should say three, let's click three. <clears throat> All, right. All right, door cutouts, <clears throat> 25 by 12 by two. I wonder what that means. So we're gonna go 25 by 12, oh, I do. So we'll go here and we're gonna go, uh, click here, excuse me, and we're going to go 25, enter, and here we're going to go 12, enter. All right, let's click this, and here, hold shift and click this, pull a line and center. We're going to bring this up probably three. Push in, touching one, two. Duplicate, raise it up, hold shift, click this, hold shift, and there you go. You have a door cut out. Now, this one's not gonna be centered. We're gonna center it off that window as best we can with our eyeballs. This needs to drop down. All right. And let's move it left. That's my. That's good with me. I'm gonna back it out till I don't see it. Touching one two. Hold shift. Click the house. And bam. There we go. We got a door for that. Next, we will be doing the windows. Bring in thing. Windows are 11 by 11. So we're going to click here. They need to be flat for now. 11, enter. 11, enter. Let's go here. I'm going to go two. And then now we'll come in here. I'm going to change it to white. Actually, I'm going to change it to brown, I think. All right, let's click here and here. And we're going to do a duplicate. We're going to do a hole. We're going to come here. And we're going to go nine. Oh, that's too much. Undo. Here, and we'll go ten. Here, ten. Here, nine. Here, nine. Raise up. Push down, group, spin. Duplicate. Spin. This one goes up here. My arrows to assist. See, we leave a little bit of gap there because 3D printers aren't 100% perfect. Sometimes they leave a little bit of extra. And so I want to make sure that this fits in because it's a problem if it doesn't fit. They're very nice when they fit in the recession. All right, we're going to click here, and we're going to duplicate this now and move it over. If I come back here, I can use the back arrow and just bring it straight to me. All right. All right. I'm going to make the big window frame now. Let's bring this over. Let's bring this over. Let's click here. We're going to be two, remember. We'll do here, and we are at 52.5. And the height is going to be nine. We're going to spin this and drop it, change it to brown. 
and I'll bring in a transparent box. This transparent box is going to be 11 by 7. It'll be aligned respectively. So here we're going to go 11, enter. Here will be 7, enter. And then we just need to bring this in here. I'll hold shift and align, and I'll do the alignment this way to make sure it's centered. Now I'm just going to move over a couple. I'm going to click here. I'm going to hear duplicate. And I'm going to move over a couple. A few. I'm going to do duplicate and duplicate again. And mine worked out perfect. If yours doesn't, you can just pause it and adjust. Hold them all, select them all, and use your arrows to fine tune. All right, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to click here, and I'm going to group it. Very nice. And then let's spin it 90. And we will raise it. Let's bring it over here where it belongs. Here, we'll zoom in, make sure we're good. We are. Let's click here. Duplicate. I'm going to spin around. I'm going to use the back arrow coming at me to bring the other one this way. There we go. All right, let's come over here and check these doors and we'll see exactly how big we are for 11 by 24. So we're going to bring in another rectangle. We're going to click here and we're going to go 11. We'll click here and we're going to go 24. And then we're going to click here and we'll go 2. Now, I want to bring in a cylinder. Let's click here. We'll change it to brown. I'm going to take the cylinder, click here, and I want to go two by two. By three. Scroll in on it. Twist it 90. I'm going to change it to silver. Bring it in here. Uh-oh. Undo. Here. Here. Here, 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 here. Here, shift here. And group. Click here, here, and multicolor. Bring this one here. We'll duplicate it. Raise this one here. All right, we're gonna come in here and let's make sure. I'm gonna use my arrows here. Change this, we're at 0.25 already, that's fine. There we go. Now, next, here, and let's get it here, 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 and get it up to here, and stop, all right. Next, we will be doing the deck railings, and the deck railings are... 18.5 by 12. So we're going to bring in a rectangle. We're going to change it to dark brown. We're going to make it here. We want it 18.5. We're making it 0.5 because that's what fits. <clears throat> and click here and here. We'll make this one too. And our height of the deck railing is 12. All right. So let's spin her and flip it. 
and hit D on the keyboard to drop it. Now we need to bring in a transparent box. Our transparent box is going to be 1.5 wide. And 10 tall. Now again, this can vary depending upon exactly where you start it, but this should, we will center here, shift, align, and center it. Now we know we have it in the center. We will move left, click here. Let's duplicate and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, See, okay, there it's coming out. One, two, three, four, five. I did. I moved it five and I'm, my snap's at 0.25. That might be a little high. Let's see. We'll duplicate, 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 duplicate. Duplicate. Eh. Let's go back, 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 back. Click here. Let's go. Uh, undo again and undo and undo now I click here and I'm going to duplicate and now I'm going to go to the edge Which I think no All right, let's click here Here there we go. I'm going to try four if I'm not mistaken One two three four. Let's go look at that one. I think that's better Duplicate duplicate duplicate. Uh oh Undo, 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 undo. My bad, y'all. Undo. Click here and duplicate. Sorry. And then let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six. Let's go back. It's six to even. And then one, two, three, four. Duplicate, 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 duplicate. There we go. All right. Sorry that took so long. And group it. Now we got a nice little deck railing that's printable and it's not too tough. Not too much detail on it, but it should look good. Anyway, we'll bring this up. And let's get our deck railing set. And so what I'm seeing is that this is looking a tad big. So let's click here and let's change it to 18. And I think that's a better fit, y'all. All right. So let's hit click here and let's duplicate it and use your arrow to move it right. Let's duplicate and spin 90. You can play with that. Um, let's duplicate here. Move to the right. Can play with that if needed. We're not going to group these because we're going to take them apart to print them. All right, there we go. Now, we need to make the stairs, which is not super hard, but then we have to make the stair railing, which is a little difficult. Next, the stairs are going to be 14 by 10 by 3, so let's get a rectangle. Let's turn it dark brown. Let's click here, and we're going to go 14 by 10 by 3. All right, let's come here. Positions will vary slightly here, but what I like to do is, I'm gonna bring it out, because we will be printing that separately too, also. All right, so. What we're going to do is come here and we're going to duplicate. 
and we're going to drop to almost the bottom, but we want them connected. Now I want you to go to the right arrow and do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then I want you to duplicate, duplicate, duplicate on down. And I'm going to undo myself because what I want to do is come down lower. I didn't come down. Didn't come down as low as I wanted to. Now I do want it touching, so I want it up one. I do want it in there. So here, here, and I'm gonna do my 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I might even go a little further. No, 12 is fine. And then we're gonna do duplicate. Undo, undo, I duplicate didn't work. Alright, there. Duplicate. I come down as low as I can, but still touching. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then I'm going to duplicate, duplicate, on down. All right. That bottom one, I am going to make an adjustment on. Just, uh-oh, that's not what I wanted to do. So I undo. I'm going to come here. And I'm going to click here. And I'm going to drop this down a bit. Then I'm going to pick it up a bit. And then I'm going to hit D on the keyboard. And so I should have it down there now. Now I want to come over this way. And I'm going to do this. And group it all together. Now. The cutouts, the uh, the stairs. All right, I can't remember this. I can't believe I didn't do this. All right, so we're going to come here. We're going to drop this. We're going to click here, and we're going to go to enter. Click here, and we're going to go 12. And here, we're going to go 50. I'm not mistaken. I'll get it in a minute. All right. Now, we need to turn this brown. It's really important, huh? And then we're going to rotate this 90. Now we're going to pick this up. And we're going to rotate this 45. Now we're going to pick this up. And we're going to hit D to drop it to the ground. Now. We need a transparent cutout that is 12.5. Alright. Excuse me, 12 by 1.5. We're going to come here and click here, and we're going to go 1.5, because this is our width. We're going to click here, and we're going to go 12. Enter. Now, this is a little tricky part. Let's come this way. We will raise it. Let's come this way. We will raise it. All right. I want to get as clean in here on this one as I can. And we're pretty much centered. And we might want to raise it up once. Alright, I am currently at 2950. Does it tell me what to be at? No, it doesn't. Alright, I'm currently at 2950. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to duplicate. I want to go down 2.5. And then I want to go right 10 times. And then I want to continue to duplicate. And delete this one. 
click here, click here. Do that and we group it. All right, and then we're gonna move here. And I'm going to bring it up to here. We'll drop it down. There we go. Let's bring it up some. And we can move it back some. There we go, we'll click here, and we're going to duplicate it. Let's bring this other one to the right. There we go, everybody. All right, we got it. And this is Trackside Signal House. Now, Let's say, for example, that I want to make this in N scale or O scale or Z scale. I'm going to make a copy of this for you. All right, and I'm going to bring this over here. Right, I am in HO scale now, right? Let's say I want to go to N scale. All right. What I do is, I get my calculator out. I'm in HO right now, so I do 87, and I want to go to N, so I go divided by the scale I want to go to. I want to go to N, so it's 160. I do enter, and it tells me it's 54%. So you would do 87 divided by 48 if you want to go to O scale, or 87 divided by 220 if you want to go to that. So I'm at 54%, so I click here, and I go, it just happens to be 54 but it's 54% enter. I do this. I go 54% enter. I do this. I go 54% enter. And there we go. That's in scale. All right. All right. Now, let's break this thing down to print. And so what I would do is just take this apart. I'd pull this and I'd drop it. I would pull this and I would drop it. I would bring this out and drop it. Now you got your black and your tan together and you'll have your brown all together. So I need to come here. I saw that I had a, no, I don't. All right. Now let's take these stairs and move it this way we're going to spin them here and then we're going to spin them this way and hit d to drop them and we'll bring this over here we want to do this and flip it and drop it with a d on the keyboard we'll bring this over here and click this here and hit delete and then click this here and duplicate and move it over here because we know they're the same. All right, I need two doors, so I'll bring this here and drop here. I duplicate, I delete. I need two of these, I bring this here, I spin it. I spin it, 90, I drop it, I duplicate it, I come delete the extra. I know I need three of these, I bring this here. I spin it 90. Let's move it this way some. You can see the shadow where it's going to drop, and I drop it. I duplicate once. I duplicate twice. 
move this base here, hit D to drop it, move this base here, and hit D to drop it. All right. Now, I know I've already got three of these. I don't need three, so I hit delete. I click this, I hit delete, and I need four of these. So I click here, delete, here, delete, here, delete, here. I spin it. I turn it, 90, and I hit D to drop. All right, now, so I've got a print for black. I've got a print for tan. I got a print for gray, right? And then I got all my brown, right here. Move the windows here, here. I need four of these. Duplicate. Let's move it right. Duplicate, duplicate. All right. Bring these here. Bring these here. All right. Now your brown print deck is set up in HO scale. You can do a gray print, a black print, and then a tan print. And you can, won't even have to paint. Or you can put them all together probably on one print deck. It looks like it might would fit, but I'm not sure. Um, we want to thank you very much for watching the video with us today. We appreciate you. This is a series, please remember. So if you have not seen the other videos, there's a link to the playlist in the description. We've got a very beginner tutorial at first, then we do an easy switchman shanty, then we do a simple gambrel barn, and now we're here at the Trackside Signal House. This is the fourth video in the series. This has been part two today. We want to thank you very much for watching. We appreciate you. We hope you have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, and if you have any modeling friends that you know that are trying to learn Tinkercad or that might be able to benefit from this, this might be something they want on their layout. I sure would appreciate it if you shared it with them. It'd also be great if you left me a comment below to let me know you were here 